for tuning in to my channel, Call That Nurse Nikki. Here we talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty, family and health, and just about anything worth talking. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a long while now, and you must have been wondering what's up. It was a big transition for the past couple months. I have moved to a different state, and I'm transitioning to higher education. So that's what was up it does take up a lot of time but today i'm not here to talk about that i'm just going to go straight into the topic as you see down below so yeah guys if you are um, a new student just starting out for the first time this channel and this video is definitely for you as a student nurse and if you have already advanced it's your second semester or you're about to graduate then you can reflect and say yeah that that happened and at least i can use this like to advise any friends or family member who want to go into um nursing school so today i'm going to talk about five takeaways i'm not going to really say tips and tricks because there's no trick to it it's just five takeaways that you can bear in mind that you can use to survive nursing school in 2022 and um, it's also good that we're back in the classroom because in 2020, it was like very hard trying to transition and do new learning and virtual. Um, some of the lessons on the classes are not good virtually. So it's good that 2022 is a bit different and you're welcoming, welcoming students back into the classroom so you get to be hands-on and do your face-to-face. -face. That's also a good takeaway. So guys, today, um, number one, I want to talk to you about um, letting you know that don't panic. Yeah, I know it might sound a bit cliche because everybody makes it sound like nursing school is so hard and you can't do it and you have to stress out because this is what it's all about and it's too much work. But just relax, take a deep breath and just tell yourself, I got this, I can do it and I am not going to be fearful. Because think about it, what is panic? It's actually a form of fear. And why are we fearful? We're fearful of the unknown. A threat. Fear is a threat of the unknown. We don't know what nurses school is going to be like or whatever else we try to embark on. So our body thinks that we need to um, be fearful. Well, maybe that's how we respond by, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm not going to have this together. But just relax. Tell yourself you got it and you'll be able to do it. Basically, when I started my first semester, I was not fearful because all these years, all this time, I know that I want to become a nurse. So getting into nursing school, I was more excited. And a lot of people can relate. They're excited. And then they'll say, oh, in the middle of it, they were so depressed because everything got hard. Well, to tell you the honest truth, I keep a high positive attitude right throughout and tell myself that I got this and this is what I want to do. So you have to just maintain that composure and not panic and don't stress out. And next, or number two, be prepared. And what do I mean by be prepared? Being prepared does not mean physically getting yourself ready to go to class and show up. It means that you're going to be prepared mentally, physically, and emotionally. emotionally. I know a lot of um, us, life is very hard. It's stressful just alone trying to get into nursing school or just trying to get to better ourselves like we some of us have um two three jobs we have kids we have we're married we have so much going on so it's not just about um ourselves so it's hard trying to incorporate um incorporate um learning and trying to go back to school kudos for all of um those young fresh um seniors from high school who's just going to embark in nursing school and you're still with your parents and you don't have much bills and all that it's a little bit easier for you on the flip side because you don't have to worry about much but then again when you're more experienced and you're a working adult and you have like a healthcare experience it makes nursing school a little bit more easier not saying that for those young um, high school seniors who are leaving high school and just getting into nursing that you are not gonna nail it and crush it because your minds are much younger I do believe in that faith in your boat, guys. But what I'm basically saying is, it is not easy for you to like taking on so much and doing nursing school. You have to be very much focused and prepared. 
and in order to get yourself um, prepared mentally you have to put aside all that is burdening you down all the stress all the worry if it's financial burden if it's relationship issue you just have to tell yourself i'm not telling you that to be a super ear and pretend that it doesn't exist but you're going to focus on the prize and the prize is to go through um nursing school and finish and get what you set out to do because at the end of the day you're going to look back on all your stress and all your worries and you're going to be grateful that you did um, accomplish everything despite the adversary that you have going on in your life and in order for you to like de-stress you might want to go exercise you know um work out take long walks read a book and basically um you're gonna be prepared in regards to your lessons like you're not gonna wait for your um clinical instructor or for your lecturer to give you the work or give it to you they do provide you with a syllabus but you're gonna go ahead and use that syllable as your bible as we will say in our um college culture that is to guide you like what's coming up this week, week one, week two, week three. And if you're very like, you have time on your hand, you can at least try to be like ahead of the game, like try to be like three lessons, four lessons ahead. That way when you have exams and skills and all those other things coming up, you don't feel burdened on like, oh, I have so much to do. Because trust me, I know for the first week or within your orientation you're gonna feel so stressed out because they're gonna throw everything at you and you're like oh my god how am i gonna manage how am i gonna do this listen you're gonna do it and you can do it because i have done it so you are going to be prepared and in order to be prepared what you can do basically you need a planner you have to plan your life out and then you have to have a study space because that's where you're going to do most of your assignment and your studying. So that's where you're going to spend most of your days and almost all of your life to the tension of nursing school. So you have to make sure that that area is not cluttered. It doesn't look distracting. You don't have television and all sort of things going on in the background. You have to have that journal out and put a, put aside and well um, organized. Also with your planner, I have one here. What I normally do is like for the classes that I have coming up, this is a nice planner that I get. Let me just show you. I get it on Amazon. I forgot how much I paid for it, but it wasn't bad. I think it's like less than $30. So they have like pages that you can go through that the date, the month, the year, and pages like these. You can flip through and put your stuff. So basically what I did is I upload all the classes that I have. And put them underneath each day and column what is coming up what what is due you know what's most most urgent what I need to focus on and then from there I decide how am I gonna do it you're gonna need a planner because it's gonna help you to um, organize your life because it's gonna be a lot especially if you have prerequisite with nursing courses that you're doing because those prereqs they call gen eds you're gonna um if you have to mix those with nursing you're gonna be no you're gonna know it's very hard so when you organize yourself at least you can go back and look and like oh i need to do this today this is what i got now you don't have to do it like this like mark up if you, if you don't like highlighters you don't have to do that but i keep my my notes and my all my you don't want to just throw in on um, stuff for school like that's all you do you're gonna plan your like your personal appointments if you have a doctor's appointment stuff like that you're gonna put that and throw it in the book this lasts for actually one full year so at least I can organize what I need to do and the good thing about this I have stickers like from dollar three that I bought so for every exams that I do once I put it in my planner and I pass, I put pass, and then the sticker, uh, just to motivate myself, I say, you are a star. Yeah, I have the stickers, they say a bunch of other stuff. They're very, very cute. You can get a lot of stationary stuff from Dollar Tree that is good for school. So yeah, you wanna have a planner to organize and you wanna make sure that um, everything um, is ready for your study and for your um, survival and for you to pass nursing school without feeling like oh it's so hard and I can't do it okay so number three you want to set a routine and what I mean by a routine 
it depends on what time your classes start. If you're going to evening school or morning school, which most people are going to day school, they're enrolled in the day program. If you gotta be at school at seven o'clock, you wanna set a routine. Like every morning you tell yourself you wake up at five o'clock and at five o'clock this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a little workout a little exercise make breakfast get my stuff ready what i tend to do is to prepare my bag and my uniform overnight so that way i am not crushing time in the morning a lot of people at school they um reported that they take showers of overnight whatever works for you i'm not going against um what you do but me personally i like to shower in the morning because i believe that when i wake up i and i take showers it open up my pores or my vasodilation for like fresh air and my blood to keep flowing in my body because when you use that warm water in your body you know that your muscles are relaxed and toned and you just feel energized and like you're awake I can't do that overnight so I have to take showers in the morning so I'll get up a little extra early to make sure that happen don't be one of those nursing students who try to do everything in the morning and then you end up in class looking like a hot mess because you are running late and you just get everything flush on and by the time you get to class you realize oh I miss I left my iPad I left my charger I left my notebook I left this be um be ready and basically, um, I know this might take some time for you to get it together, but you will eventually when you find out that this routine works for me because I had was to try a couple of them. And I've made the mistake of one day, one night, like staying up super late, didn't get to sleep. And in the morning when I woke up, I was so crushed. I was groggy. I was overwhelmed. I just didn't want to talk to nobody and definitely my day all my day went bad and then it can even roll over into the whole weekend into the next week so you got to be um, prepared just organize your stuff set a routine if you want to wake up at five if this is what you're gonna do and get yourself out there and if you have to be at, at class seven o'clock try to be there before like maybe five or ten minutes before class time don't try to get there like seven o'clock on the dot because some of these um, instructors they're very very precise with the time and they will find it very rude and distracting if you're walking in the class at exactly seven some of them are trying to prep you to become a nurse because if you're gonna release the next nurse on shift they want you to be there at least quarter two so the next nurse can give you a report and give you hand off and then you can go so walking in exactly seven when everybody's seated and they're ready to teach it's like a big distraction so you don't want to do number four stay on top of your game and what do i mean by staying on top of your game like i said you're going to make sure that your assignments are done on time even before time and if you you're able to submit if your system that you use at your school allow you to do early submission go ahead and submit your professor will be grateful for that and they will see that you're the student that does not procrastinate you just want to go ahead and send your assignment off also you want to make sure that you are not behind like in regards to information like what's trending this week what other person what, what are you doing in your clinical group like what's going on like what's coming up next you want to be ahead of the game you want to be in the know and you want to always have your priorities straight and everything intact so that you're not behind because if you're like one lesson behind that's devastating because you're gonna have to make up for that one plus the workload that you have ahead of, ahead of you and there's no leeway like oh they're gonna like oh can I can I not submit my assignment this week can I give it to you next week no that's zero tolerance in nursing school if you used to do this in a regular college for any other um, profession I'm not saying that they're not strict in that regard but they take nursing school really really serious so you want to go ahead and be ahead of the game just get your stuff together if you have to forget about parties and being on the phone with your friend for a long period of time use your weekends to get organized and get your team on um, your stuff together so come um, the following school week you're ready and you're not logging behind and everything is intact because you never know you never know like whatever material they give to you they might call up on you and say this is what I you uh, I need you to present this week 
not everything on your syllabus they might say oh this this you're gonna do this you're gonna expect it they can just randomly choose them so you have to be mentally physically emotionally um prepared for school and last but not least and this is the one that we forget is self-care we have to do self-care because um all of this wouldn't matter if we don't have good health if we can't like have a mental um stability to think straight and to have a, a social um background like how are you going to get it together and finish nursing school if you're all over the place and you're not together because you're not taking care of yourself and in order for you to do self-care you basically have to know a time when you are studying and you're doing all the work and then saying hey i need time for myself i need a break i need to get away from studying so much i need to, let me go do my hair let me if you're a girl let me go put on some makeup let me go out with my friends just call them up once in a while and say hey you know i did so well in my my last test or my exam or in my um um stimulation lab something i just want to go do a little small uh, uh um accomplishment let me just go um celebrate that moment and you could just look up just have a quick drink have something to eat and then you go back home but do not stay there not taking care of yourself because you dread the worst and like oh nursing school is so stressful my life is over for the next two to four years no you're going to take care of yourself you're going to still look nice you're going to dress up you're going to do your hair do your makeup if you're into that and you're going to have a social life don't forget about your social life still call up your friend if you have a few family members that you haven't heard for a long time you're going to talk to them don't go ghost a lot of people think that in order for you to pass nursing school and to survive you have to shut down the world shut off everybody not do anything for yourself not be happy look raggedy no sis you don't have to just if you have everything together like i said be organized be prepared and don't panic then you will have this understand but you have to make sure that self-care and self-love come first so guys this is it for today if you enjoyed this chat um video and if there's anything else that you want to see me upload please go ahead and put that down below and if you're new here welcome to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell notification just so you don't miss any of my content that i have uploaded so i'll see you in the next video